Alright, <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to another Pyro Gaming tutorial video. Today, Industrial Renewal has recently um, recently updated this. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I don't think the creator has had a chance to uh, build a tutorial for it yet, so I thought I'd take it upon myself to try and replicate what he did. Um, so I said, all, all credits for this um, you know, go to the original owner. Um, I will post that uh, link to his mod in the description below so you guys can work it out. Took me a while to work out how to get this all to work. Um, obviously we've got a jam generator here, we've got some cable at the moment, um, it's just um, you know, dumping the, the energy. We have a dam turbine, we have some high pressure pipe, uh, which the water from the dam is being expelled to, and we have an intake, so the water comes in through the generator, or oh, through the uh, turbine, which turns the generator, which generates the power. Now this, um, obviously this is man-made, you can find something that's potentially a large lake of water, um, or find a valley somewhere and build a man-made dam, that's possible as well. Um, <clears throat> so the key for this is the location of, of all the bits and where it goes. Um, so firstly what we want is we want to go to our lovely INR tab. This is the bits we're going to need to build this. So we're going to need a turbine shaft, we're going to need a high pressure pipe, we're going to need a dam generator, we're going to need a dam turbine. We're also going to need uh, an energy level indicator and we'll also need some energy things. We'll need a trash bin, we'll need a dam outflow and a dam intake. What we'll do is I'll also grab some uh, concrete here so we can build our structure. Um, <clears throat> all right, so what I'll do now is I'll replicate this and show you guys how to build it. Um, what we do is, basically the way we do this is we start by a 15 by 15 block, yeah? So we want one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we want to go one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. More. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we go one more. Doesn't matter if it's a bit bigger, but I'd recommend 15 is a good, um, a good. What you also want to do is you've got to be a certain height. So from the intake point, you need at least 10 blocks above for this to work. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 10. So you've got 10, 11, 12, this is 13 high. Yeah? So what we want to do is we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we'll go 15, yep. Yeah? So now we've got our 15 by 15 square. And what we'll do is we'll do a bit of world edit to make this a bit easier. We'll smash, oh no, no we don't. We'll, we'll click that there. Go down to here, we'll make that uh, concrete, there we go, we'll set uh, that to there, set concrete, um, that to there, we shall set glass, and then put that to here, set the glass. All right, so there's our there's our tube or our um, our uh, our box. So now, um, usually if you build this, you build it with water. I'm actually manually generating water here, so you guys can do obviously the same here. Right click that, and we shall go set water. Now, you want to make sure that water is filled with every one of these blocks. Don't just fill from the top and have it drop down. Every block has to have water in it, and you'll see why once we start to lay a bit of our foundation. All right, so now next we've got our block here. I like to go four blocks. One, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four, five. Now we just go all the way along. There's a couple of neat little things I found 
um, in regards to like placement of certain things. Um, you'll notice that soon when I fix this and we'll come to the day, we'll make sure that this doesn't happen. Probably should turn that off, I haven't been looking for it yet. Just this is new and I want to play with it. Um, Alright, so now we've got This does actually have to be a decent so this is our holding pit, yeah? This is where water gets dumped into um, from our outlet. Uh, so you'll see our outlet goes here, our overflow goes that way. So you want to see how it's got dam overflow. You want it facing that way. We need some pipe. Uh, we'll go up and push that across like that. Oh, yes we do. Then we put some walls here. All right now here we go. We want our dam turbine. So this is where it gets interesting. You've got to see how it. You've got to. You've got to put it in a certain way. Like if you don't. You've got to face, see if you've got to face the right way. So what you want is you, you want to face, you want to put it on the block that you're looking at. So the block that you're looking at actually puts it on here. It doesn't place it in the middle. So that's one thing I thought. I was kept trying to, kept trying to place it there. I'm like, well, why isn't it working? You've got to place it there. All right. <clears throat> so the next thing we've got is we need our intake. Actually, I want to place it there. So we need one more pipe. There. Now, next thing is we've got our pipe here. We don't do this yet. Your reason why? Now you want to put in your turbine shaft, which is this thing here. I like to go three. Um, it makes sense. I haven't worked. I haven't tried if any other method works. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Your jam generator. You actually want to put it on this block. Yeah. If you click on the top, see how it, it's offset? That's, I learned that the hard way. You want to put a block next to it, click on that, and then break that block, and it'll work. So a nice little handy thing to know there. I'm just going to reroute this power uh, to a trash can for now. We'll put a little indicator on there to work out where our power is going. And that is pretty much it. Now what we want to do is we get our damn intake. <coughs> Excuse me. And we want to open now. Water's going to flow out of this. And voila! You shall see that RPM is increasing slowly. And we are starting to generate FE per tick. Um, this takes a while to speed up. Um, as you can see, this one over here that I prepared earlier is doing must be up again and we're, we're creating 1k uh, tick. And it's the power going on. So this is the little damn thing that I spoke to you, mentioned you guys before. As I said there's a bit of water pouring out of there so just make sure it's a decent size. Um, other than that guys, this pretty much concludes um, the, uh, the tutorial. Um, I do think this actually works better. Actually, no, it doesn't conclude the tutorial. Let's change this. No, it doesn't. Okay. I think I've done a mistake. What we need to do is we need to make it in the middle. So we probably need to make it there. So what we do is we break that, 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 break that. Break that. I've actually gone a bit wider in here than I did in the other one. So we want that to go there. No, that was just there. We want that to go there. We want some pipe there. We want another pipe there. Break those. Alright, let's try this one. Okay, so up in increasing.
Yeah, so basically you get, you get the gist. Um, obviously I haven't experimented with different sizes or what you can do, but basically this is how you use um, the Shrill Renewal Dam. Um, if you guys have any questions, post in the comments below. Other than that, peace out.